Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to the binomial CD function, as you can see here on the Casio FX991EX class Wiz calculator. The binomial CD function gives you the probability that for a random variable x being less than or equal to an observed value, little x, for any random variable following a binomial distribution with parameters n and p in. If you're unfamiliar with the binomial distribution, do go back and check out my earlier video tutorials on this. Now on the Casio calculator, you can see it's listed here as the binomial CD. And you might find that you've got a calculator that will also perform this type of function. So the methods are going to be fairly similar. So in order to demonstrate this, I've got a Casio ClassWiz emulator displayed here. And we have an example where if X follows a binomial distribution where the number of trials is 12 and the probability of success is 0.2, we've got to evaluate the following. So for this first one, the probability that X is less than or equal to six, what we've got to do is make sure that we put the calculator into statistics mode. And for this one, if we just select the menu option, we can then select the statistics mode, which is mode seven. So we can move the cursor keys to seven, or we could just simply enter seven. And it will bring up this menu here. Now, if you watch the earlier video, I showed you how we worked out binomial probability density functions using this choice here, number four. But we need to move to another menu and we move it downwards and we have this menu here where for number one, we've got binomial CD, the binomial commutative distribution function. So we need to select that. So it's number one. So type in number one, and we've got these two options here, list and variable. What I'm going to use first of all, though, is the variable one, number two. So we'll just do number two. And for this, we need to set up our observed value X, which for this example is going to be six. So enter six there, press equals. And now we have the number of trials n, which is going to be 12. So put 12 in, press equals, and now we've got the probability p of success, which is 0.2. So 0.2 is entered, and then press equals, and this will now give us the probability of x being less than or equal to 6. So just put that in there as 0.99 six, zero, and so on. Now, I'm going to move down to this one here, probability that X is greater than or equal to three, but less than or equal to five. And to work this one out, what we would need to do, and we've got to be careful here, is that this would be exactly the same as working out the probability that X is less than or equal to five, minus the probability of x being less than or equal to two. And this would give us the values of the probability x equaling three, four, and five. So in order to work out the probability x is less than or equal to five, I could simply just go back and press the equals button and change the observed value here to five. Okay, so we'll just do that, five, press equals, I have to press it again, and you can see that we get 0.9805 and so on. And so if I enter it down here, we've got that probability. I can press equals again, and it takes us back to this menu. Change the observed value now to two. Press equals and equals again, and it brings out the probability of X being less than or equal to two. 0.5583 and so on. So if I enter that in here, we subtract it from 0.9805 
and our answer is 0.422 and so on. Now I could have used the list option. I'll show you how that would work here. Let's just go back and select the menu. So I can select number seven again, that option there, the statistical distributions, brings this menu up. I'm on the second menu for this function, so we'll take it down by pressing this cursor down. And now I've got option one, the binomial CD. Select option one, and this time I'm going to use the list option here by pressing one. And it brings up this column here of observed values. All I need to do is enter five. If we put that in as five, press equals and two. So if I press two there, equals, and now press equals again, you'll see that the menu I'm given here has the same number of trials, 12, as I had up here, and probability of success, 0.2, as I had here. You might have to change these values because it's remembered what I was last using, and you might have a new binomial model. But for this one, I just press equals and it saves me time because I've now got 0.9805 for five. And for the observed value two, you can see I've got 0.5583, okay? And so I could copy those in and subtract one from the other and that will give me 0.4222 and so on. So that's basically how we can use the calculator. Now, you'll notice I've got these probabilities here, and we can still use the cumulative distribution function for examples like this. And so going back to the fact that we worked out the probability that x was less than or equal to six, equaling 0 0.9960 and so on, when it comes to working out, for instance, the probability x is less than seven, then to do this, this would be exactly the same as working out the probability that x is less than or equal to six. So for that one, we would have exactly the same answer. When it comes to working out the probability x is greater than or equal to seven, we can still use this function here because it's going to be one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to six. And if you do that, then you're gonna get this answer here, 0.0039 and so on. And similarly, when it comes to working out the probability x is greater than the observed value of six, then we can pick up on the fact that this is going to be one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to six. And if you work that out, you'll see that you get 0.0039 and so on again. Okay, so you should be able to handle less thans, greater than or equals, or greater thans still with this function here. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea how we can use the binomial cumulative distribution function on the Casio class Wiz calculator or a similar function on any other calculator. So thanks for watching and Hopefully see you again later.